The Legend of Robin Hood, A Tale of Flesh and Blood. In a realm veiled by time and mist, in a village known as Loxley in the heart of England, a tale emerged not of a mere legend, but of a man of flesh and blood, named Robin of Loxley, or as the annals of history remember him, Robin Hood. Childhood in Loxley Robin was born to a respectable yeoman family in the quiet village of Loxley. His father, Elfric, was a skilled archer, and it was from him that young Robin inherited the art of bowmanship. They lived a peaceful life, their days measured by the singing of birds and the whispering of winds through the greenwood. Yet, beneath this veil of tranquility, winds of change blew across England. The Norman conquest had sown the seeds of disparity, and the common folks, the Saxons, were often oppressed by their new Norman lords. The Fateful Encounter In his youth, while hunting in the king's forest, Robin had an unfortunate altercation with the local sheriff's men over a deer he had killed. Defending his right, Robin inadvertently killed one of the sheriff's guards. This act made him an outlaw, forcing him to flee his beloved Loxley and seek refuge in the depths of Sherwood Forest. The Band of Merry Men In Sherwood, Robin encountered many like him, men wronged by the system, abandoned by justice, but not bereft of honor. Among them were Little John, a man of towering stature with a heart as big as his frame, Will Scarlet, a youth with fiery hair and an equally fiery spirit, and Friar Tuck, a jolly friar with a love for food and fair play. Together, under Robin's leadership, they became the protectors of the weak, the voice of the oppressed. They robbed from the rich, who had grown wealthy through corruption and deceit, and redistributed the wealth among the needy. Thus, they became legends in their own right. The love of Maid Marian but it wasn't just the thrill of rebellion that kept Robin tied to Sherwood. It was also the love he held for a woman named Marion, a noblewoman of great beauty and compassion. Despite the divides of their societal stations and the peril of his outlaw status, their love blossomed in the shadowed canopies of Sherwood. The Quest for Justice As Robin's renown grew, so did the determination of his enemies. The Sheriff of Nottingham, a man of cunning and cruelty, became his sworn nemesis. The Sheriff, with the backing of Prince John, tried numerous schemes to capture or kill Robin but the wily archer always remained a step ahead. Yet, Robin's aspirations weren't solely confined to Sherwood. He dreamt of a united England, where Normans and Saxons lived as equals, free from tyranny. With the eventual return of King Richard the Lionheart from the Crusades, Robin found a kindred spirit, and together, they sought to bring justice and fairness back to the land. The Legacy Robin Hood, though a figure wrapped in myths and tales, was said to be a man of undeniable charisma, unmatched skill, and unyielding principles. It was not just his ability to shoot an arrow straighter than anyone else, but his belief in justice, equity, 
and love that made him a beacon of hope. The stories sung by minstrels and written by scholars may have added layers of fantasy to his tale, but at its core, it is a story of a man who dared to challenge a system, who chose to live by his own code, and who, with a band of loyal friends and the love of a noble woman, sought to make the world a better place. Centuries later, the name Robin Hood still evokes a sense of adventure, justice, and romance. For in every tale spun around a campfire or written in a dusty tome, there exists a kernel of truth, and perhaps, once upon a time in a village called Loxley, there lived a man named Robin who became a legend.